Hello everyone, Crystal Vision here. Welcome to another part, the final part of my retrospective of Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. This is part 6 and we are here doing this incredibly annoying level. Uh, what's it called again? I don't, can't remember. Alright, oh, there we go. Um, this, this level is really, really difficult. I did not know you could die from that. That's bullshit. This level is bullshit. That's what it is. What's it called? Who knows? I've forgotten. It's not Gold Rush. It's something else. Like Cart or something like that. I don't know. But it sucks. It's really, really difficult. Um, oh, God. This, it is seriously... And look, this is just ridiculous. This guy's behind... Stupid crunch motherfuckers behind us. Isn't he meant to be here? Oh, no. He's not fully. Yeah. Okay, there we go. He gets in front of us. Yeah, he, he, it's, it's just ridiculous. This is such a difficult boss. Uh, I, I call it a boss because, yeah, you got to, like, get it. I guess, yeah, it's kind of like a boss. Um, it's just really difficult because you got to make sure you get every single one. And if you miss a single one, you're done. And, like, there's no second chances pretty much except for, like, when you go through this way twice. And stuff like that. Like, it's pretty, pretty upsetting. Oh, shit. Now, I think, I think they're the, one of the, pretty much the only two that I can afford to get. Uh, a second time. Alright, there we go. Like, I mean, like, get him on my second go. That one as well. There you go, I'm in first place. Here we go, here we go. Alright, so this one in here. Now hopefully I get in front of him. Alright, there you go. Don't miss out. There you go. Oh, shit. Oh, man, how many... How many oh, there's a lot of nitros around, actually. That's a good point. Let's get that one. Alright, and what did that open? Yep, that one there. It, we did it. We actually did it. Wow. Holy crap. Okay, well, that's a great start. Now, before I go get the relic, I'm going to go do the nighttime stuff, because I'm using old footage, because again, that game can't play because of the darkness and all that stuff, so enjoy footage by Ormary, Ormary, Ormary Garcia. I, can't, I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah, look forward to that. Here we go. I've already got them, but we're going to get them, and then yeah. Okay, guys, so here we are in, what is it called again, night time? Yeah, it's night time. It's time for night. Uh, yeah, so, welcome, and yeah, so we've already done the first level bit, and now we have to do this. Now, I've sped it up a little bit because I feel like, you know, we don't... This level, coupled with the fact that the graphics are going to be absolutely shitful for you, um... Yeah, it doesn't, this level is inconsequential for me. Now, now, interestingly enough, it is the only normal platforming level in this world. Uh, you know, you've got Solar Bowler, you've got, the, you've got um, Ice Station Bandicoot, you've got another Coco level, you've got oh, Force of Nature. And uh, you've also got, um, what's the other one? Oh, that's right, Ghost Town or whatever it's called. And so, yeah, so definitely a... Um, yeah, and, and this is the second Coco level. So this is the only platforming level in the whole thing. Now, it base, it's kind of based around the idea of the sixth warp room in Crash uh, 3 being all da uh, being a dark level, having a dark level in that one, and then also Crash 2 uh, having, you know, the two secret levels be in the dark. So definitely not a new concept by any means, but it's cool to kind of combine Coco with dark, and also this theme. You wouldn't think that this theme would... Go well, but then again, you think medieval, it's dark, it's fantasy, it's that kind of thing. I guess it works, you know? Definitely works. Alright. So the player of this uh, game right now, because I couldn't play it, is Ormary Garcia, I think it's pronounced. Ormary Garcia. Um, thank you very much for the footage. This is from my original Let's Play, which I took. So that was really convenient, th thanks to him. And look, he's only on 47 lives, so he's not doing as well as I am life wise. Oh shit, I think it's a guy, yeah. Not doing as well as as I'm doing life-wise. I think I'm near, near 90, something like that. But I, I, I lost a few with Banzo Bonze, and I'll probably lose a hell of a lot more on uh, Force of Nature. But, yeah. So, this level, coupled with the bad graphics, um, having to rip it, you know, rip it. I No, I'm an idiot. Oh my god. I ripped it from my Let's Play, right? When I should have just ripped it from his part again. So, oh my god, so the quality is just so bad, you know, <laughs> come on mate, why'd you do that? Um, so yeah, so the quality is really shit, and as you can see it's got my little crystal vision, like the old crystal vision logo down the bottom there, 
the um, which I, I used to use for I reckon I used it for about at least six months maybe maybe even longer actually I'm kind of glad I don't have it anymore I don't really need it actually yeah I guess I don't really need it I don't, I don't know why I don't, uh, I don't know I'm, kinda, I'm actually I'm some split I'm split I can definitely see the the intention to have it I think it's a it's a good idea in many ways oh. um, but I just didn't really yeah, I couldn't feel, I couldn't be bothered, like, I have to, like, it takes a lot of editing to the, with the program, I have to, like, make sure every project I do has that template and stuff like that, it's just, it's a bit, of, I mean, even though it's really simple, it's just, it just would get tiresome with certain things, so, yeah, did he just, oh, oh Marie, come on, buddy, I, I mean, me, I'm doing bad, yes, I'm doing terrible, now, you see, you got the gem back there, it's like, it's a gem, you gotta, like, jump up, you gotta use the box, you get, like, one chance to get it, it's ridiculous, this warp room is filled with the idea of one chance. You know, there's no, there's no loading checkpoint thing in, uh, you know, that uh, force of nature, which I neglect to bring up for the first like minute that I notice about it. By the way, so yeah, definitely a bit of an idiot there. And I think that took him longer. I think I cut. I'm not too sure, but what a fail. Because look, he, he forgets to yeah. See, they you just think oh, I just go crazy. Now you don't usually see that either. It's kind of stupid. Um, and what's he missing? Oh no. Oh, there you go. We got it. Excellent. Now time for the the relic race. Prova a tempo. Prova a tempo. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Prova a tempo. Yeah, there you go. If you want to be an Australian. Um, excellent. So. This is the relic, and I don't know what he gets, but Garcia, wait, is that? Garcia, that sounds like, you know, Spanish, you know what I mean? So what is it? Is he Italian or Spanish? Garcia, you know, prova a tempo, kind of would sound like it's, yeah, Italian or Spanish, I guess it's similar, uh, it's not a similar language, but like the kind of, yeah, the A's and prova a tempo, A and O, you know, that kind of thing, gives, it, gives off quite a... Uh, Italian vibe as well as a Spanish vibe as well. Uh, he's Russian. He's Russian. He's not Russian, but he's rushing. I think I've said that before. Like he's Russian. Like Russian. Yeah. You're on a Russian. Uh, excellent. So believe it or not, that's the final thing I have to record commentary-wise this Let's Play. After this, I'm just going to pretend that I haven't yet you know, done it. And uh, yeah, so this is it. Crash Wrath Cortex, everyone. It's the last time you're going to hear me in this let's play, except for the end, but I recorded that beforehand, so, yeah, bit of a mind F, after this, having a shower, and, uh, by the way, this is recorded the next day, right, what you're going to see for the rest of it, is all stuff that's in the middle of, uh, at night, sorry, at night, like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, so, crazy time, crazy time difference, not really, but kind of cool, and, he just lost, I thought he lost a bit of health there, excellent, excellent, Oh, dude. Tired. And he has a jump. And I don't know what the point of going up and getting those time skips are. You? Uh, maybe, the, maybe that two seconds right there could be the difference. 102. That is a gold. Excellent. Well, I shall see you when we go to the next And go. Okay, so this one is going to be very, very interesting. Now, this one... Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna suck. It's gonna absolutely suck. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you, because pretty much to get a platinum, I can imagine you have to get every single time crate. Uh, so basically, it involves doing the level again, which I don't want to do. You know, uh, this, this level is hard enough. Coming back to doing it a second time, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, especially, you know, I'm gonna okay, fine. I'm gonna take the risk. I'm gonna take the risk. Now, this this would be the stupidest idea ever. I don't know why I'm doing this. In fact, because this is just dumb. Yeah. Okay, there you go, there you go, there you go. There you go. Awesome. Okay, we missed one. So, what's the bet that that one will be the one that will give us, not give us the platinum? Or maybe the, maybe they give you leeway. In fact, I bet you they probably give you some leeway. Like, they're like, okay, you know what? Actually, you did you did alright. We'll, we'll give you a second chance. Alright, now here's the third lap here. Crunch is in front. So, don't know what's going on there. How many we got? Oh, it doesn't tell us, of course. 11 seconds, <laughs> not too many seconds at all, uh, alright, let's get that one there, there we go, got that one without having to go down that way, oh what, 
our, our final lap and I missed that one there so that was pretty crucial we really had no choice to either miss one three or miss another one hopefully that's all we have to do so oh for god's sake when he's behind you as well this is insufferable I have no idea where I'm going I missed oh, I missed the one trap because of him what an ass wipe all right oh man okay this whole thing's screwed thanks to him what a douche this 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 guy's ruined it well, well actually I ruined it myself really I screwed myself there I Brett screwed Brett as they say yep that's an AJC awesome hey that's good at least we're doing that now I'm gonna extend these parts a little bit long because uh, there's not too much to go now we're pretty much at the end of the game believe it or not I'm trying to think is there anything is there anything else that we do now I remember the original LP went for 70 parts now Got a gold, platinum, platinum. This warp room is going very well for us. Uh, in terms of... <laughs> why am I losing my breath? I have to talk so much all the time. Constant talking. I love it. Um, I was going to say, yeah, it's... Uh, it's. This, I'm loving this warp room because it's, uh, it's it's giving me a lot of good good relics and stuff. Now, this is Solar Bowler. This is a lot of people's either their worst nightmare or their favourite level. Um, I'm on the side... I am on the. I'm in the middle. I appreciate it. I like the music. Um, I like the way that the level is designed. I think it's a very smart, interesting concept. That's for sure. I don't know if that was the point in doing that. Yep, there was. Okay. All right. Oh man, I just avoided that. Um, yeah, I really applaud their efforts in this level. I think that it's a smart idea for a level. Um, it's got entropy in it which is nice it's solar and it's a bowler that's another way of looking at it there's entropy remember my friend Jono he used to someone I used to be friends with he used to um, used to talk about this level all the time when he had the, he had the game and he was like oh you know like it's yeah you got like you know tropies in the level I'm like yeah awesome tropy yeah yeah tropy come on tropy yeah I don't, I don't know what that's about but yeah he quite liked entropy and I liked entropy as well as you can tell alright okay as you may imagine what, what do you mean as you can tell okay anyway that's just I'm trying to, I'm really trying to focus with this now and, I, and it's just reminded me that the relic's gonna be a piece of shit as well because I wanna make sure I'm not forgetting a single thing the relic is gonna be annoying because I'm gonna have to go really slow and yet I wanna get a good time now that's 97 you gotta keep up the good good appearance of this warp rim you know bloody hell Alright. No enemy there. Awesome. Checkpoint. Well deserved, as they would tell you. Oh, oh. And cool. First death. That's right. We're down to 96 lives. It'd be great to end this game on 99 lives, but considering Force of Nature is next, that is not going to happen. I'm going to end on 50 lives by the end of that. Let's be honest here. You know, the reason why I've... Uh, I've kept the last, like, very, like, a short part to last is because it actually won't be a short part. That's the, that's the plot twist there. It's going to be an insufferable piece of shit of a level, just like it was the first time, just like it was the, you know, it's going to be a pain. And speaking of what's going to be a pain, I've got a bad feeling that um, I'm, I've missed a heap of things back there, but I'm, I'll come back. I'll come back. Right. Really, I thought, I thought you end up, like, I don't know, let's just see, let's just see. Okay, well, now now we can see the other way by going, actually having a look. All right, let's have a look. Let's properly take a look at everything we need to digest. Okay, so there's one there. All right, so this is just a random way to... Is this just another direction? Does it, like, lead you back to the same place or what? This seems interesting. Okay. What's down here? Oh, is this just the second path? Yep. Okay, well, I don't know. Okay, so we end up here. And yeah, so what are these things? What are these things? We're on like an ast we're on like an asteroid belt or something like that. Oh, here's another gem. Excellent. So very important to go this way. Getting that gem counter up, you know, just in the middle, hidden in levels. That's kind of like very like you know random because like if you think about it, in in Crash Three there are hidden, there are ones that are hidden, but like always on like a path type thing, you know, like the kind of a purpose. Where with this one, someone went in night time. It's just like it's just there, and if you happen to get it. Um, you just happen to get it by going through the level, so it's kind of interesting. Now that's whoa. It's very easy to gain momentum there when you don't want to. So you know. Take that as you will. Okay. Um alright, go across. 
really need really feel like another checkpoint would be would be solid right. shit, 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 shit. just want to make sure everything's okay hold back hold back hold back ah uh, uh, oh wait let me guess oh man oh my god very lucky I went down here instead okay this is cool. So yeah, look, look, like everything, like it's supporting. Like, who built this system? What is this for? That's the that's the question. Like, what exactly is this whole thing for? Like, what? Who made it? You know, that's that's always the question I ask with video games. I mean, I know it makes no sense, but it's always just a funny thing. It's like a fun thing to ask. Like, you know, what is the purpose of this? What? Who would make this design just for to tra traverse on it? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that kind of thing. All right. All right. Whoa. And how many does that give you? Oh wow, quite a few, like 20. Alright. I've got a... Wow, this actually, this level isn't actually as long as I thought it was. It's not too bad. It's realistically... Paced. Oh, okay. It's... I can imagine, yeah, getting the platinum. Like, if you know what you're doing, you're set. And there's 85. I'm guessing 86 is right around the corner. If it's not, I'm not going to be... Ha yes, it is. Excellent. Thank you. Look, you know, I can't actually, I probably shouldn't be looking at that, I'm losing my focus. The stars in the background, the background is probably the most poor aspect of the level. In fact, I think they really should have done something better. Like, they should have, like, really, like, done some cool Ratchet and Clank, like, or even Spyro, like, you know, different color, like, purple, pink, kind of nebula type thing. I don't know, that would have been really nice, but you can't have every, I mean, this, yeah, this game is clearly rushed, you know, we know that. We know, we can tell, you know, we can tell that it wasn't, it did not reach the potential that it should have reached, you know, but, um, that's alright. That's alright. I, I forgive them. They are forgiven. They are f have been forgiven for their sins. They have been absolved. Okay. Anyway, let's do this level for the final time. First, second and final time. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. Now, this is going to be an absolutely terrible experience. Um, and I'm dreading every second of it. Okay. Fail. That's just... Yeah. Got to 99 lives. That's all I wanted. Awesome. We can't lose another life now. Freaking fantastic. Isn't that right? Okay. Anyway, let's take a... Let's take a big roll. Like this. Oh, yeah. You see that? In fact, no. I'm too scared. I'm too scared. This whole level just scares me. Everything about it is scary. And I am terrified right now. I don't want to go too fast. I don't want to go too slow. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a moral dilemma of this level. It's, the, it's, you know, what way do you pick? You know, this is probably... Oh, no, this is the right, is this the right way. So, and I've already forgotten. Okay, no, I think I think I got... I think I remember this. And then you got to go down the, the little slide thing. Yep, you pull. You, you get all the way to the end here. Move over. Don't fall. You take those two. But then you keep going up here. And you go down here, and you go down here as well. There's some nitros there. Fuck! Oh, damn it! I thought I had the momentum with that. Damn it! Okay, that I was really got. That was that was good. That was good. Okay. There you go. Big big jump there. Right. Oh man, that was close. Did you see that? Now it'd be good if I got those ones, but you can't have everything, can't you? You get too much momentum too quickly. That's that's the way the level punishes you. It's like, you want to go fast? Actually, we're going to make it so you die and you can't do anything if you go fast. Yet they want you to go fast along here as well. So it's kind of a double-edged sword, you know? Like, they, they give you they give you a reward. They're like, yeah, 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 fast sections, fast sections. And then you're like, actually, I don't, I don't need them. I don't want them. Anyway, that was a good skip, kind of, sort of. I don't know if it was really a skip per se, but it definitely helped. Okay, I feel like the momentum's going my way right now. Here we go. Okay, in fact, let's go this way. These bits here, these suck. These bits suck. Okay, there you go. Alright, 43 seconds. That's, that's, that's... 
It's not ad admirable, but it's uh, it's okay. Now, so this with this warp room here that we're about to see again, I kind of I like this because it's a uh, it's its own thing, you know, like we like within the universe, like as in it's actually recycling the location. In fact, like it, it this kind of this whole thing here with the warp room thing suggests that it will actually. Wait, is this the actual place? Because look, if you look at all this material stuff, all that stuff here, it's all from like the first cutscene, and it was just, just then never used. Like it kind of seemed pointless to me. They went to all the trouble of this shit, and then they, I don't know, like it just like random. It's just random, but I don't know. So it's kind of weird. Like I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Just wrath of Cortex, everyone. Wrath of Cortex, the ultimate. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Now. Oh god, I feel phys physically nauseous right now. I feel physically nauseous right now. This is just insane. Okay, well, fuck this. Okay, let's just go through the level first, normal like this, and see how we go. Oh my god, this is no, this is not no, this is a nightmare. Oh my god. Yep, no, I do. Rem I remember all this. Oh my god. Holy shit. On a oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Yep, 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 yep. Better die. Guys, this is this is going to happen again. I, I... It's... Oh, no. I can't even get the second one. This is where we honestly need a face cam system, because the, the, that's the only way you're going to be able to see how serious I am when I say that this level sucks balls. Oh my god, I'm done. I'm stuck. Yep. I'm stuck. I'm gonna have to... Yeah, this is going to be a complete fail. I'm not gonna be able to do this. I've just... I'm just... Comp I, I... You know, I get up to the LP, there's the, there's the James hype, getting ready for this, and then I actually get there, and I just realize, you know what, you know fucking what, this level's fucking bullshit, and everything about it sucks, this level's a disgrace, it's a stupid, poorly coded mess piece of shit, you know what I mean, and the fact that it, and it, as I said, it's just so fucking, uh, you know, typical of this game, it, the, the, the background won't load, oh, I missed the first one, fucking brilliant. Um, you know, it just so happens that it's this, this level that doesn't have a background because, you know, like, like, the game, you know, the system is a piece of shit, you know, like, it's just, it's just typical, like, of course, of course this is what happened. Okay. Now, the trick is, if you can get to the checkpoints, see that, that, that's a fucking brilliant, isn't that just great? Guy, fantastic. Fantastic level design. Hey, Mano, how's it going? Thanks for the Snapchat during the part. It's not your fault, but fuck you. Damn it, fucking shit balls, cock. Okay, dead. Sorry, Mano. Okay. And you know what, as well? I almost don't need the freaking thing, this thing. Okay, so this is what's so. It, it order, you, you, get, you get mixed up. You get mixed, you get mixed up as to what, what, um what way to go, because it's like a fucking inverted fucking controls, basically. It feels like it's inverted. It's that shit. It's, it, this is the, this is the biggest flaw moving to the PS2 system, is the amount of pixels on the screen and all that shit. You, you can't pick up all the boxes and stuff like that at the right times. Okay. Okay. You, you miss it, you miss anything by like one second, like one percent, and that's it, you're done. See, look, that one, fucking hell. Like, and where's the checkpoints? I think there's one freaking checkpoint in this whole goddamn level. All right, and if I get it, I will rage right now. And of course, now I'm, now I'm getting them all. You know, just how wonderful. Look, now I can get it. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, now I'm invincible. Where, where are the check? Where is the checkpoint actually? Is there no checkpoint? Is there no checkpoint? Oh my god! I think I've just remembered. There's no checkpoint, isn't there? You have to get every single one in a row. No way. 
No way. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. No, I can't do that. I'm gonna have to cheat. At the sorry guy, no, I can't do that. I dare. I no, nah. no. Nah. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna haul myself out to play this game for 60 fucking hours. You know, just to just to get this stupid fucking challenge, which is just ridiculous. There's the gem. Fantastic. Thank you. Oh my goodness me. This is insanity. This is insanity. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just going through this now, just going through the motions. I, I am completely in shock that you have to get them all in one go. No way. That's awful. And as well as that, you can't get past there. So that sucks. You can't, if only you could just walk back. Oh, oh, here we go. Time for the uh, the relic. Now this is going to be even worse because um, actually this could be, this could be a bit of a good practice actually. See if I can just get as many boxes as I can, and then do that one there. That jump there, not high enough. Thank you, you piece of shit. This this level is just a this level is a piece of crap. This level is a piece of garbage. This is regurgitated garbage. Seriously, I I can't take this level. This is ruined. This ruins the let's play for me every time. Every time we s I see this level, I just go, "Yep, I remember that's right. That's the time when my let's play got completely went completely sour because the gameplay, you know, is just it's just too it's too screwy to actually do this properly. You know, that's the thing. It's just too screwy. It doesn't work. This this level doesn't work." You know, like, with those little jumps like that, we have to get in the top of the jump with one chance. You know, there's no there's no second chances, there's no, you know, no half measures, Walter. You know, thanks, thanks, Hank. I mean, thanks, uh, Mike. Alright. Yeah, it's, this is fucked. And then you can't die as well, then there's that one there. Thank you, you garbage piece of... F oh, God. This is making my blood boil right now because I'm just thinking I can't, I can't do it. I don't know. I don't know if it's possible to get it in one go. I'm serious. Like I'm actually dead serious. I think the people that do this deserve a fucking bravery award to, for doing this. This this is just this rivals some of the most heroic, uh, you know, like sporting achievements in history. I reckon this is probably the up there with the. With the excellence, in, you know, this is up there with going to the Olympics, the Commonwealth Games. If, if you can, if you can beat this level, you're a genius. You, you're a complete hero in the, to the world, I think. Um, what's the bet? I won't even get the right time. I'll probably miss the. Here you go. 107, 108, 110. What's that going to be? Gold. It wasn't even the fucking time. All right, this is like my seventh time now, and I'm doing a lot better now. I'm doing a lot better. Alright, and I've just lost, well, there you go, and I can't, I, every seventh time I missed that one too. I keep missing, and that, oh, I missed, I got that one the last time, damn it. Got that one, that's okay, we're doing alright, we're doing alright, there's three seconds there, but I'm 46 seconds, I don't know if that's good or bad. That's the thing, I, I don't know, one minute ten, I got one minute fourteen, got other shit, um, okay, here we go, yep, like that. At least I'm getting a little bit better at, uh, but I'm not missing too many, so I mean, my minute ten must be pretty close to a decent time, or to a, to an acceptable time. That's the thing, is, isn't it? Like, I want like a minute. What else could I honestly do? I don't, I don't feel like there's anything else I could, any time or other time I could get. I'm, I'm like, I'm serious. Like, what else could I possibly do? This is like getting every freaking box. This better be it. Oh, thank Christ. A G C. All right. Well, the final countdown begins. Oh God, I don't want to do this. I do not want to do this level. This is making me red-faced. I am so goddamn infuriating at at this level. It's not even funny. It just it just angers me. This level just angers me. I have nothing but ill will towards the makers of this game for this level. You know, like it does it does nothing for me. It is just it is just the the bane of my existence. I, I hate it. I, I I dread every second that I have to actually involve myself with this piece of shit filth of a level. 
So much so that I know I'm going to miss that one. No, I made it, I made it. Alright. Well, guys, it, we're at the end of the road. I may have got this many, this far, but it ends here. In fact, wait, i got to get the toilet. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a relief, uh, relief toilet break. That's what we'll call it. That's what we'll call it. Okay, so remember there's one on this side, on the left side, on the right side here. Now, we've got to get this one too. Yes, we got it. All right. So there's one on the, like, on the right coming up. I don't know where it is, but you got to be really, it's really difficult to get. Okay, here we go. There you go, get that one. Might be over there, might be over there still. No. You need maybe a slow down. That's the thing. Okay, here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Here it is. There it is. There we go. Get that one. Okay. We're doing alright. We're doing alright. There we go. There's that one. Oh my god. This is... This is happening. Now I'm going to... Precautionary save state. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit more arrogant now. Because I think... I, well, I think we are now a lot closer to the end of the level now. This is still my first go, by the way, guys. I am actually not... I have not cheated this yet, believe it or not. Um, I tell you, I'll, I will tell you when I do, but the fact that I didn't have, to, I actually did go to the toilet, toilet and didn't have to cheat it, makes me incredibly happy. Um, let's get that jump there. Make sure we get that. This level also feels really like a huge frame drop of a level as well. It's gonna vibe against off. All right, and yes, we did that. Yes. Oh my god, we did it, and I didn't have to cheat. I didn't have to... This is phenomenal. This is this is just phenomenal. I can't believe it. My my eyes right now? Denial. Guys, we did it. We did it. I'm saying that was we. Because even though you guys weren't there with me, you're watching now. This has successfully been uploaded. This is insane. Guys, I am so happy right now. I'm just trying to keep my voice down. Alright, so here we are. You see this? 106%. Done. Crunch time. It is time to face you for the last time. And there's no theatrical cutscene. However, you are going to see a good cutscene in a minute uh, when we beat this guy. Okay, so here comes round two. Now, I can't remember how much easier or di more difficult the boss is. Now, if I can do a first go like the first time, that'd be fantastic. Because that was awesome. I got him like first go, didn't have to worry about anything. And only only four hit points. You know, I thought it would be more, just because I don't know. It just seems like it'd be I don't know. There'd be more hit points. I don't know. Just don't ask me. I just I just thought there'd be more. Yet there wasn't. So that was awesome. Um, awesome. Good news. All right. Now there are there are kind of ways to glitch this level. I I feel. Um, if you kind of stay up here, that that's a big way of being able to do it. There you go. Now the biggest, the worst thing to ever happen in this boss is when you hit him and it doesn't work. That's that's the worst. Like or like you know, and then it goes back to the, it repeats the cycle again. That's probably the worst thing you can do with this. But looking back, <laughs> looking back on what I was looking back LP, I'm really happy with how this LP has gone. This is retrospective. It's been a lot of fun. I'm, it's been good to uh, share and enjoy Crash again. One, three to four year, three to two years later. I mean, I finished in like 2012. Um, but like it was kind of yeah you know it's it's still oh no I died it's still kind of a, it's still a 2011 LP I kind of view it as um, you know anyway that was just a clear stupid mistake really I shouldn't have done that shouldn't have shouldn't have done that right. there you go oh f and the thing happened which I didn't want to happen no just get close to him and yeah, don't try and do like any fancy angles and stuff like that because you won't be able to. Now if you stay up here, by the way, you will never get hit by shit. I'm mean, actually no wait, sorry this this boss is now you will get hit by it. Wait, oh wait wait oh shit look oh, good close now, over here right um, if you stand here you will get hit by the iceberg stuff. Let me watch the ice the ice I'm pretty sure the ice can still hit you, but it's the, it's the icebergs that you got to be careful of. There you go. So these ones here those like ice things they. They're mainly dangerous because then they will hit you when you go to the fire version. So that's where you got to be careful. Anyway, round three. Round three. Bring it on. 
And done. I love it. Look at the blinking lights. Well, what is this place? Crunch time. And as you can see, Aku Aku is actually up there. You see that? I, what the hell is he doing? He's a complete freaking waste of time, if you ask me. He's just wasting. He's just like, he's scared. He's like, he's scared to do anything. He's scared to act because he's a fucking retard who's just waiting up the top there for nothing to happen. Great. Thanks, Aku Aku. You're a real use up there. Fucking good Jesus. Alright. This is what happens when you die a couple of times. Just like you just get frustrated. Alright. Come on. See, all these things represent each stage and each elemental, if you looked at it, in case you didn't realize them. I think you should, should have known that, but... Yeah, see, look, rock, water, fire, wind. Like, how wind is, like, a random, like, you know, it's like a... It's like purple, which is, I don't know why, it just it feels right, though, you know? Okay. Alright. That one there's that Those ones there are probably the most annoying ones, actually. Actually, no, probably the fourth one, if you don't know how to do the cheat. Anyway, that's actually... Uh, I don't know, the whole thing in general is just annoying. Alright, there we go. Do, 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 do. Uh, we got this. We got this. Boys, two more hit points to go. And no, ironically, the most difficult hit points to get. Uh, see there, you stay up there. Don't get hit. Awesome. Alright, come on. Alright, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh. There we go. Third hit. See, you notice you didn't get hit when you got there. Very big oversight by uh, Travel's Tales, but you know, I thank him for it because this level was bloody annoying without at least using it as a crutch, especially on the fourth hit point, where it becomes just very woefully apparent that you need to do it because, yeah, there's just so much shit going and flying everywhere. Um, oh, fuck! Hit point number three, we're back. Okay, so there'd be no point going through it again, it's pointless. Alright, so this is the fourth and final hit point. This is going to be ridiculously crazy. And there's the elemental for the last time. See you later, mate. I forgot your name. It's Wawa Roro. I don't know what the fuck. Anyway, these ones, it looks like they get more rapid now. Oh, be careful. Be careful. Alright, drop them. Alright, go away. And. Oh no. This could be it. Here we go. And we did it. Fan freaking tastic. Alright, better put the volume up for the cutscene. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ready? And he's destroyed. Volume goes up. Oh, look, it's a loading screen, but we're going to get a cutscene, don't worry. I can assure you the cutscene is worth it. Can't you ever let me win? What do you want from me, you creature? No, Uka Uka, I can explain. It's too late for that now! Uh, I don't think you should have done that. Oh, no. Where am I? Hey, wait a second. That annoying scientist doesn't have control over me anymore. Where is that pathetic twerp? There's no time for that now, Crunch. Danger. Critical power overload in Evil Space Station. Run for your lives. I think your energy boat caused a slight chain reaction. It might be wise if we made our way to the escape pods. This is all your fault! If you hadn't ducked out of the way, none of this would have happened! This doesn't look good. Hey, any device need a ride? Conveniently, yes. Aku, I'm grateful to all of you. If it weren't for you, I'd still be under the Dr. Cortex. Thank you for believing in me, guys. You're welcome, Crunch. Hey, do you think that's the last we'll see of Dr. Cortex and Uka Uka? I'd like to believe that, my children. But somehow, I doubt that very much. Idiot! Fool! Lincoln Poop! You've landed us in the middle of nowhere! Ouch! Whoa! No, wait! I can explain! Ah! I'll get my revenge, Crash Bandicoot! Just you wait! <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So Cortex and gang, they survived. Um, but what you saw there is the final cutscene, you see Crunch no longer under the control, as you see he's not actually a prick. Um, and you see them end up in a like an ice spaceland type thing. Now that sets the scene for Crash to Insanity, believe it or not. Um, Crash to Insanity actually, yeah, is a continuation of this game. A lot of people don't kind of wouldn't assume that because a different art direction, that kind of thing. But yeah, they did the same thing, and unfortunately, it's a, it's a huge shame. You know, like Twin Sanity is the ultimate what could have been game, and I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on that before the let's play. But I reckon, I don't know. I reckon a let's play of Crash. Uh, Twin Sanity, I reckon within the next two months. I reckon within. I reckon that, that I'm not don't I'm not going to promise that. I'm going to pre predict that. It, hey, you never know. It could be it could be less. There's Clancy Brown, of course, doing his awesome stuff. Look at that the uh, Tom Wilson, Leah uh, Ermy, Mark Hamill. Believe it or not, Mark Hamill did the voice in this game. I mean, seriously, look at him. And and now he's back in Star Wars Episode Seven. You know, what a, what a start. Fun fact, never seen a single Star Wars movie. Seen a bit of six, that was it. Which is technically three, but yeah. Um, so, yeah. Wait a minute, six was technically three. Yeah, no, the Star Wars episode six, yeah. But, um, the, one, the fat Jar Jar, no, not, no, the fat, fat piece of shit. Anyway, so this is Crash Wrath of Cortex, and it is a good game with a lot of flaws and some absolutely fucking annoying concepts and crap. Um, it could have been a lot better. It should have been a lot better. This was the first Crash game to be released since the PS1. And of course, Vivendi, you know, Universal, they rush it just like they do with Crash. The Inspire, End of the Dragonfly. All for a profit. And look, it ended up changing the series for the absolute worst. Now, Twin Sanity is awesome. Twin Sanity is incredible. But uh, the thing is, is that that doesn't matter all the time. What's this? Not when I get anything. That doesn't matter because, you know, um, you know, like, just, why, why would they rush it? Why would they waste? Why would they do that? Um, why would they, what do they think they're going to get from this? So anyway, we head up here for the last time. We're going to end the LP looking at the VR room or whatever. Yeah, so, you know, good game, flaws, fun at times, aggravating at other times. Crash 2 is the best. Crash Twin Sanity is next. Crash Bandicoot is a good series. Crash Bandicoot should do a new game. Thank you for watching. There we go. I've just, I've just karma hoard myself out there as I turn around it. See you in the next Let's Play when we do another... Ret oh, the next retrospective, by the way, is a two-parter, very short Let's Play. It is... The next retrospective is the... Um, what's the game called again? Uh, the, the Lion King Simba's Mighty Adventure. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, and I shall see you in the next retrospective. Goodbye.